Hey guys, Risqué here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Um, so, last we left off, we did the orphanage part, and I'm glad it's over. And so now we're gonna head to the orphanage as Claire. Thankfully we won't hang around long. But yeah, we are rapidly getting ever closer to the end of this game, which I am doing a little victory lap in my dan in my head. Doing a little dance. Alright. I'm out of this bitch. You again? Oh Jesus Christ, okay. We can do a little ring around the rosy, that's fine. Fuck it. Alright, I think there's an herb over here, right? Yes there is. I ain't missing that. Okay. Claire, that does not mean stop running. Okay, I need to keep an eye out for stuff, because I feel like there's stuff I miss out here. Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. I gotcha. I gotcha. Alright, come on. Oh, there actually isn't even anything for me to get out here. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna pull all of y'all this way. So that I got a, a wide gap here between all of you bitches. So I just don't feel like dealing with it, you know? It's not in the mood. Looks like the only way forward. Yep, I think you're right, Claire. Congratulations. Which, yeah, I guess they just took some inspiration from when you run around the city at the beginning of the original game, which they could have just kept at the beginning. But, you know, it's fine. They had to find a path to this mysterious orphanage. Because I'm like, okay. Like, Lisa Trevor was. Oh, Jesus Christ, fuck, die already! Um, Lisa Trevor was a new addition to the game, right? Like, that was fine. Like, that was different from the original game's canon, but it, it still added to the story, and it made it more interesting. And, like, gave it more depth. The changes they made to this one did not add anything. It's just, like, they wanted to do different things, but still keep all the same stuff. It just, it's a walking contradiction. And really shitty to control with that. Damn, I'm kicking y'all dogs' asses! Okay, there is stuff in here to get, I believe. Yes, I see that herb. Give me that herb. I mean, yeah, I'll take that too. I'm not gonna turn it down. I should have brought more gunpowder. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. And the gunpowder, I do like. I love the gunpowder mechanics in Resident Evil games. <gasps> Shit. You know, I've kept from getting hurt in most of the game. I'm really... Other than that, like, one instance where I somehow got hurt. I don't remember how it happened. But it happened. Okay. What all we got out here? I never actually look around out here, so I'm gonna actually do that this time. Oh, well, it's easy. Thank you. I just gotta be careful, because I don't wanna have to use my grenades on dogs. I feel like that's a waste of a grenade. But I mean, I guess... I have plenty of them, so... Yeah, I do have like 16. It's not bad at all. Fuck it. I can use one on a dog. Fuck, fuck these dogs. These dogs are bitches. Where the hell am I going? Because there's stuff... Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Is that it? No? That's not it? Okay. Cool. I dig it. I like that. Oh, hell. I just don't feel like I'm dealing with you, to be quite honest. And that was it. So I'm gonna just run for the door. It's gotta be the orphanage. Run for the fucking door. Hang on, okay. Aw, oh, 
awesome. But yeah, so we show up here and no chains. Like not even like, okay, they're laying down there, but like how? How again? Cause I see the scratch, but Hello. I I just, have it doesn't make sense. The timing doesn't add up. The math ain't math. Uh. Your fault. What? You took too long. What happened? Uh. Oh god! Uh. Get, get, get off me! Uh. Uh. Oh my god! <gasps> Jesus Christ! Also, they deprived us of the opportunity to watch William rip him in half. And I don't appreciate that. That was the best part about Claire B. But we don't even get it in Claire B, because there is no B. <laughs> it's so disappointing. Where are you, you little shit? Claire! Sherry? I'll be right there! Oh, Jesus Christ. Go, go, go! Yeah, just run. Claire, Save yourself. You. Don't stop! Knowing that kid cannot run nearly as fast as her. Keep like, up. this Claire just doesn't give a shit. Sherry, come on! Wake up. Wake up. Open your eyes. Hold still. I'm not infected. Sherry? Where's Sherry? Sherry. Sherry's fine. Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. I didn't foresee this. Excuse me. Where is she? Hello? What? Where oh, she? Annette. Tell me, what happened to William? I don't know. Who's, who is that? The creature responsible for this. Can you help me find Sherry? Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. Annette looks god-awful. I hate her new redesign. The side ponytail is just fucking stupid. Um, and I hate how cold they made her in this. Like, yes, she was cold in the original, but you could still care, or you could still tell that she cared at least a little bit about Sherry. In this one, absolutely not. And it's just, it's dumb. 
Report about G. The G virus clinical trial will be entering its final phase soon. Before G, the new creature that will surpass humans, is born, allow me to predict a few things about its biology and biological functions. Intelligence. The subject's intelligence will begin to drop oh, excuse me, immediately with their linguist linguistic abilities disappearing within a matter of days. Excuse me, sorry. Finally, they will lose their capacity to reason and their humanity. G will be a creature of pure instinct, driven only by a need to survive and reproduce. It's just fucking sick shit. Physical abilities. Due to its... Uh, really? Dio? Really? Anyway, due to its unusually accelerated cell division, evolution, it will be highly adaptable to any environment. Furthermore, with its amazing ability to repair itself through regeneration, it will be extremely difficult to completely kill it with any conventional small firepower. In other words, they're telling you you're going to need big, big shit for it. Reproductive behavior. G's most remarkable feature will be its intense desire to reproduce. It will instinctively search, uh, search out humans with DNA that closely matches its own and implant an embryo in them. <laughs> Lovely. But the chances of success are very low, and if the DNA is not a close enough of a match, it an, an underdeveloped Jeep creature will be produced instead. I can read, I promise. I suppose the only ones who might be a close enough match would be by any biological children of the subject, though. It's just fucking sick. Just fucking sick incesty shit. Like, ew. And that's an issue I have with the original, too, so that's not even specific to this. Okay. Um, I need to make more handgun ammo. Let me get out some gunpowder. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and put that away for now. I don't really need it, and I'll still keep that second green herb. Okay. I feel good. Oh, right. Can't go that way. All right, heading down. Sherry, can you hear me? Oh, and Ada's side of the story, like her her sewer section, is so fucking stupid because like she has this new gadget where like she can see like wires connected to like electrical wires or whatever. It just, it makes no sense. I'm like, why does she even have that? And her cover story is also fucking stupid. So, yeah. That's, I had to talk about it, even though I'm not going to play Leon's campaign. I just had to get it off my chest. Okay. Uh, let me, yeah. I could do the right thing. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the sewer part of this game, but I'm not really a huge fan of sewer sections in games in general. So, you know, I don't hold it specifically against this one. I'm just like, eh, they're all kind of shitty. That worked. Nice. Good job, Claire. Another stuff in here. Yes, give me. Mine. Mine, 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 mine. Okay, and this is um, S C S E F? Okay, that's it. Awesome. Love it. Oh no, 
Sherry! Sherry, I'm coming! Hold on, Sherry. All right, so now we have their butchered attempt at the uh, plug puzzle in the sewers, in the original. Uh, sewers Company Pamphlet. Greeting from the CEO. Thank you for your interest in Knight's Construction Company. Over the past 20 years, we have had the honor to work on the sewer systems of some of our country's greatest cities, while never losing sight of our two core principles of playfulness and superior industrial design. At KCC, we believe that just because our work is subterranean doesn't mean our designs have to be subpar. More refined than a queen, more polished than a knight, and as pleasant as a pawn, our work is sure to bring great victory to everyone involved. May we all meet on the field someday. Knight's Construction Company CEO. It's so fucking bad. <laughs> like, it's just... It's, it's cringy, almost. Okay. So, we have... Pawn... Piece. Or the pawn plug. And then we have... Uh, is this the bishop? The bishop plug. Then we have... The knight plug. Awesome. Okay, I'll go ahead and put those away for now. Um, put that away for now, put that away for now, put that away for now, and that. Okay. So, we have to find all six. Oh, well, we already have three, so we have to find three. And, yeah, they're all over the place. Unlocking the U area door. I lost the thing that tells you how to unlock the door to the UA, the U area, not the UA area, that was dumb, uh, during that last man dash of a transfer. I know you have to stick one plug into each terminal, but if anyone remembers which plug goes where, please be a pal and share by posting the info on this board. So they did. Pretty sure the Rook and Knight are on the same wall and the Bishop and Queen aren't next to each other. The Queen and Rook were opposite each other too. Okay, so that's the only hint we get about where these go. So anyway. Let's keep a pushing, shall we? But thankfully, you can be done with the sewers pretty quickly, and that I'm thankful for. Yeah, after this is the lab, and then that we're home free and we're done, we can go to the Resident Evil 3 remake. Which, I mean, isn't a whole lot better than this one, but I, I think it's an improvement. Uh, left 2, right 12, left 8. 2, 12, left 8. I don't even need this. So I'll just leave it there because I don't care. You can fuck off. Like, die, please. God damn. I got all the patience to deal with you bitches. Okay, and I think, is there... Well, yeah, we need that. The tool. The T-bar valve handle, more specifically. I think this file's the only thing down here. Delivery receipt. The item below has been delivered to the location specified in your order. Heat resistant safe times one. A uh, combination is written on the side of the safe in chalk. Please remember to erase it before you use the safe. Why can't I erase it right after I use the safe? Why do I have to do it before? Will it not open? Because it opened fine for me. I mean, good thing they never used it or I never would have known what it was. I'm just like, that's so dumb to have somebody else deliver it when the combination is right there. Like, how do you know they're not going to try and open it? Shit, I probably would. <laughs> I feel like, does this actually work? I kind of want to know. So yeah, not smart. Not smart. Very dumb idea. Okay, you gotta go. Like, now tired of you. To quote Kim Richards, I've heard enough out of you, you beast. You beast? How dare you? 
Man, Eileen was so underrated. That is her name, right? Eileen? Pretty sure. <laughs> I feel bad. I love her, but I forget her name right now. But I loved her. Yeah, it was Eileen. Yeah. I'm gonna feel really stupid if it wasn't. What's this? Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The sewer's key. The key to a section of the sewers. Catchy. Oh, right, I can't. So I just wasted my time. It's fine. It's all I like to do is just waste my time. It's okay. Now, actually, I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.